Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're all here. So today we're going to be in Excel and Outlook because I want to show you how to import contacts from an Excel sheet to Outlook. So say somebody sends you an Excel sheet that has names, addresses, phone numbers, or other contact information. Rather than enter it manually, you can import it from Excel to Outlook, but there's a couple steps we have to take to get there. And I can't wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's say we've received an Excel document that has contact information. We have our name, address, phone number, and email address. And we want to get this information into Outlook, but we don't want to enter it manually. So we can't do a direct import from Excel into Outlook. However, we can create what's called a CSV file, and CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. And we're going to create that CSV file by going to File, Save a Copy or Save As, and then we're going to tell it where we want to save it. And in our drop down here, Save as Type, instead of Excel Workbook, we're going to go down to CSV. Now you don't want the CSV UTF-8, you want to go down to CSV comma delimited and choose that one and tell it to save. Now I want to just take a quick second and show you what a CSV file looks like just in case you have never seen one. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to say type CSV. And then if you open it, it just has your information that's here separated by a comma. So let's get out of there and close this. Now let's go to Outlook. And I'm going to get to my contacts by my two little people down here in the bottom. And we're going to go to File, Open and Export, Import Export, and our Import Export Wizard pops up. Now we're going to import from another program or file because we have our CSV file. So hit Next. We're doing a comma separated values or a CSV file. Next. We're going to browse to where that CSV file is. It's here. Tell it OK. Now in our options, we have the option to replace duplicates, allow duplicates, or not to import duplicates at all. Now, personally, I tell it to allow duplicates because I want to review them myself and decide which one to keep. But this option choice is totally up to you. So tell it next. It's going to default to our contacts. Tell it next. And tell it to finish. Now looky here. Let's open this up. It imported our name. And that's it. So if you remember, we have name, address, phone number, email address. The default mapping is the name only. So let me show you how we can work around this. I'm going to delete these. Let's go back and do our import process again. Open and export. Import, export. Program or file. CSV or comma separated values. Browse. OK, next, next, OK. Now we're going to go to Map Custom Fields. And as you can see, if we expand name, first name, last name, it automatically brought that in. But we have business information. So I'm going to expand this. And I'm going to come over to my street address. And I'm going to drag it over to Business Street and drop it. Then I'm going to do my city. Business City, drop it. Then I'm going to do my state, business state, drop it. My zip code, postal, drop it. And then my phone number, business phone, drop it. And then email address is a little further down. And I'm going to drop that in there. Before I say I'm going to hit OK, let me show you something. Let's hit Default Map. Ooh, 
wipe out. <laughs> so a lot of people think that if you hit that default map, that it will take what you've just done and made it make it a default mapping. That's not what happens. So now we get to go back and redo it. But hey, it's good practice. First name and last name, always there. That's built into the Microsoft logic. Pull this up a little bit. Okay, let's go back and get our street address and our city state zip code business phone number and our email address all right now we're going to tell it okay and now we're going to tell it to finish and let's see what happens keep your fingers crossed no it'll work i promise See, you can tell here it already has. And if we go into the contact card, name, email address, phone number, and address. The only thing that you have to change manually is how you want to file it as and how you want it to display as. And there you have it. That's how you import contacts from an Excel sheet into Outlook. Now just keep in mind that it works the same way no matter where that CSV comes from. If you export it from Google Sheets or you export it from LibreOffice or anywhere else or if somebody just sends you a straight CSV, it works the same way when you go to import it into Outlook. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see content like this in the future, please be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future content, then drop me a comment, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.